Hello, boys and girls. Mr. Giamini, I want to come to you with a little bit of examples, models from the Chapter 2 Midpoint Quiz. You can kind of go over some common errors here. I'm going to actually do the entire quiz. Uh, we'll take a look and see where we maybe made our missteps. And a lot of it has to do with multiplication, boys and girls, not being able to multiply. First one, 8 to the third power, which another way to write that, if I wanted to expand that, is 8 times 8 times 8. Well, I know that 8 times 8 is 64. Got rid of those two 8s. Now bring that other 8 and multiply this here. 8 times 4 is 32. I'll put three tens up top. 8 times 6 is 48. 48 plus 3 gives me 51. 8 to the third then equals 512. I now have the next one, which is 2 to the seventh power. 2 to the seventh power. That's just a fancy way of minimizing or kind of just reducing me writing this. Just makes it a little neatier. So 2 to the seventh power, if you didn't have exponential notation, you'd have to write it out like this every single time. Someone came along and made these exponents and made it life easier for us. They just condensed it all. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7 twos. I'm going to chunk these. 2 times 2 times 2 is 8. 2 times 2 times 2 is 8. Hey, it kind of seems like a problem we just did. That gives me 64 when I multiply 8 times 8. And then I'll just multiply that by 2. That gives me 128. 128. Take a look at the next one. And I remember talking about this in class when we model when I modeled this and we, we practiced it in class and we took it in our notes. I said if there's ever one that troubles kids, this one it says write each number in exponential notation using the given base. So it doesn't write say to write the exponent of each, it says write each in exponential notation using the given base. Now it says, I want you to write, I want to take 32, but write it as an exponent using the base 2. So it's 2 to some power equals 32. Well, what I could do is just say, hey, wait, 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. Well, 2 times 2 is 4 times 2 times 2 is 4. Well, that equals 16. So 2 to the 4th is 16, but I need to equal 32. I can then add another 2 here or multiply another 2 here. So let's times by 2. I have 16 times 2 is 32, that's what I need. So to write an exponential notation, it's 2 to the 5th power. Because there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 twos, it's, it's 2 to the 5th power. Now we have 1, base 9. I need the problem to equal 1. Now if we recall, if I did 9 to the 1st, that equals 9. 9 to the 0 power, or for that matter, anything to the 0 power is equal to 1. So this would be 9 to the zero power. Let's take a look at the next two problems. They were order of operations. We had in parentheses 3 times 3 minus 3 close parentheses. You need to take that answer, cube it, or take it to third power, subtract 9 from it, and then add 8. Let's do in parentheses first. We have 3 times 3 is 9. So we have 9 minus 3 to the third power minus 9 plus 8. 9 minus 3 is 6, so now we have 6 to the third power minus 9 plus 8. Notice how I'm going step by step by step. 6 to the third power, that means 6 times 6 times 6, 6 times 6 times 6, that is 36. 36 times the other 6, some people did 36 times 3, it's 36 times 6, that gives me 36. Put the 3 up here, 6 times 3 is 18, 18 plus 3 is 21, so we have 216 minus 9 plus 8. Here was the next common mistake. You decided to do 9 plus 8 first and get 17, and you did 216 minus 17 and got 199. Remember, order of operations, if I have addition and subtraction left, I do whatever comes first from left to right like I'm reading a book. 216 minus 9 gives me 207. 207 plus 8 gives me 215. So this answer has been 215. I look at the next problem. Maybe if this works, I have some room here. This one's a little different. We have brackets. No need to be afraid of brackets. It's just kind of like parentheses. I have bracket. I have six. There's no operation sign here in between the six and the parentheses. That means we multiply. And we multiply six by whatever eight minus three is. And then we divide that by two. And then we take all that, whatever's answered in the brackets, and multiply by three. I'm going to first write the bracket here. I have six. And it's going to be six times. 8 minus 3 is 5. So we have 
6 times 5, divide that by 2, brackets, times 3. 6 times 5 is 30. I do 30 divided by 2, bracket, times 3. 30 divided by 2, 30 divided by 2 is 15. Now I really just have 15 times 3. Well, 15 times 3 is 45. This one was, a lot of people had that right, so that was good to see. That was very encouraging. You were not afraid of the brackets. That was good. Okay, let's take a look at the last two. I'm going to do all the work down here for this one, and then I'll transfer the answer. Gavin has 36 red jelly beans, 48 blue jelly beans, and 72 yellow jelly beans. He wants to divide them equally among his friends. I should put amongst his friends at the lunch table. What is the greatest number Gavin can use to divide the jelly beans evenly? Justify your answer with work. Keyword here is greatest number. Greatest number. So if he takes 36, 48, and 72, what's their greatest number or greatest common factor? So what's the most jelly beans of every color he can give to his friends? I take a look. I take 36, 48, and 72. Now I take 36, that's 6 times 6, but that's not going to work. We need to use prime factorization. 6 is 2 times 3, and then the other 6 is 2 times 3. So 2 times 3, 2 times 3. I'm going to put 2 times 2 times 3 times 3. 48, I'll do 48 over here. Again, you can use a factory if you want. 48 is 6 times 8. Neither of those are prime. I'll go 2 times 3. 8 is 4 times 2. 4 is 2 times 2. Prime, 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 and prime. So we really have 2 times 2 times 2, which is 8, times 2, which is 16, times 3, which is 48. Or you can look at this. 2 times 3 is 6. 2 times 2 is, is times 2 is 8. 8 times 6 is 48. 72, I can break that up right here. 9 times 8. We already learned that 8 is 2 times 2 times 2 is a fa prime factor string. And then 9 is 3 times 3. Greatest common factor. We must have a factor that all of them have in common. They all have at least one, two in common. Great. Let's transfer that two down here. They all have another two in common. Outstanding. Let's transfer that down here. Now, there's two twos here, but there's no two up here, so we don't need that. There's a two here, but none of the other ones also have a two, so we get rid of that. Now, they all have a three in common. We'll bring the three down here. Okay, these two have a three, but for GCF, they all have to have a three, so let's get rid of those. We don't use garbage when I do GCF. That's with LCM, so I just multiply two times two times three is 12. I can do a little sentence here. Gavin can divide the jelly beans evenly by giving his friends 12 of each color if we'd like. That would work. Something along those lines, or giving them each 12, but that's a matter of colors, so giving, uh, giving his friends 12 jelly beans. All right, let's take a look at the last one. The Learwood Spirit Club marks every fourth locker with an orange star, every sixth with a white star, and every ninth with an eagle. Excuse me. These lockers are all side by side and numbered 1 through 50. What locker will be the first to have all three, to have all three, an orange, a white, and an eagle? Now, notice, boys and girls, your answer can't be anything greater than 50 because that's how the lockers go up to. So we have four, six, and nine. If I think about that, so the fourth locker has the orange star. The sixth locker has a white star. The ninth locker has an eagle. That means the eighth one also has an orange star. The twelfth one also has a white star. And the eighteenth one also has an eagle. Looks like we're doing multiple, so we're doing least common multiple. Mul uh, four is two times two. Six is two times three. Nine is three times three. With LCM, remember it has to be, and at the most, two. Or at the least two, it could be in all three. So take a look. We have a two and a two. That'll work. So it has to be in two. For nine, it has a, we have two threes, or it's nine and six, so that is three. Okay, we don't have another two or another three, but when we're doing least common multiple, we use the junk. Two times three is six. Two times three is six. Six times six is 36. So the 36th locker will have all three of those. Hope this helps you out. Take care. Bye.